Hello and welcome to the next mini lecture. Today's topic is listening. Let me ask you, how important do you think listening is to our everyday lives? Well, statistics show that it is the most frequent type of human communication, with 50 to 60 percent of all human communication involving listening. Uh, based upon your own experiences, do you find this to be true? Well, we know that um, we listen um, all the time, but we don't listen very well. Um, matter of fact, uh, listening efficiency is a real issue and it's something we should be concerned about as speakers. Uh, listeners only tend to listen with about 25 to 50 percent efficiency. Uh, 50 percent for the first 10 minutes and then down to 25 percent a mere 24 hours later. Now students in a classroom environment such as yourselves only tend to retain about 12 percent of a 50 minute lecture. So the question is, why do we have such difficulty in listening or paying attention? Well, this is a long and complicated uh, topic which we don't have time to get into today, but perhaps we could just explore a few, uh, few reasons for it. Maybe um, we are disinterested or distracted or we dislike the speaker. Uh, maybe we're arguing with the speaker in our head. Uh, one thing to be certain is that um, we have developed some techniques to at least fake like we're listening. We've honed this skill over a, a number of years of, uh, of, of, of paying attention but not really listening. Uh, in a inter typical interpersonal exchange, maybe with a partner or a significant other, uh, you might get the question, have you been paying attention to what I've been saying? And your response might be, yes, dear. Well, what, I've been, what, have, you been, what have I been saying? Well, the same thing for the last 10 years. Of course, this is uh, not going to go over well, and you're going to be in the doghouse. Um, what we need to understand as, as speakers is the differences between hearing and listening. And there is a difference. One is a physical process um, and one is a psychological process. Now the physical process of hearing is simply sound coming in through your eardrum um, and, uh, and, and it's, it's just fairly physical, it's just sound. Whereas hearing involves uh, a psychological aspect of taking that sound and deciding what you're going to do with it, comprehending it, understanding it, and deciding what you're going to do with it. I think one of the best examples uh, I can list is maybe comes from an old movie, uh, White Man Can't Jump, a great sports movie with uh, Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes, and of course the fabulous uh, Rosie Perez. It's about a couple of basketball hustlers, and we pick up our, our trio here as they've just uh, hustled their first game and they're on the getaway, and they're counting their booty in uh, Woody Harrelson's fabulous uh, Cadillac convertible and Woody's in the front seat. And he's about to slap a tape into the tape deck. Yes, it's a tape deck. It's a very old car. And from the back seat, Wesley Snipe says, what are you listening to? And the reply is, I'm listening to um, Jimi Hendrix. And from the back seat, he says, you might be listening to Jimi Hendrix, but you can't really hear Jimi Hendrix. Now, of course, uh, this th we turn this example on our ear, pardon the bad pun, but it really illustrates the difference between hearing and listening, the uh, physical aspect versus the psychological aspect. And what I want to talk to you today about are, are some of the major types of listening that we might engage in in a public speaking uh, forum. And I like to think of them on a continuum or a scale of least involved listening to most involved listening. And there are four types. Appreciative listening, which is the least in involved, uh, we, we talk about comprehensive listening, which is a little more involved, discriminative listening, which is higher order, and critical listening, which is the, most high, the highest order and the most difficult type of listening that we do. So let's, let's go through each one of these. Appreciative listening, just as it sounds. Maybe I want to listen to Jimi Hendrix just to hear the sound of his guitar, or I want to listen to nature, or even my own voice. I'm Fraser Crane, and I'm listening. So uh, appreciative listening is very passive, and we're not really assigning many messages. We're just listening. Comprehensive listening, on the other hand, it is higher order, and we do it all the time. We're used to it. We're trained to do it in school. We're trying to listen, understand, and, 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 and get uh, what, what's, what's going on in the, the speaking situation. We're trying to understand, but we're not really being critical of the message. It's merely uh, understanding. Now, discriminative listening is higher order still. Uh, this is where we're trying to discern what's actually going on in a message. We might have to listen to both verbal and nonverbal 
to get what's actually going on. It's listening between the lines. Think if you've ever had a really sarcastic friend and you don't understand whether they're being serious or pulling your leg and you really have to pay attention. You have to listen to them. You have to look at their body language to really understand what the message is. Finally, critical listening, which is the highest order listening, is uh, something that we uh, hope that our, our listeners will engage in while they're listening to our speeches because it involves all the processes of the physical listening, uh, the, the hearing, the understanding, and deciding what we're going to do with the message, whether we're going to keep it, uh, how does it j jive with our, our own uh, thoughts, and what are we going to do with that message. And it's very, uh, it, 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 it's hard on the brain, and we don't do it very often. Um, and so uh, it, it is probably the least used, yet most important uh, type of, uh, of listening. Uh, so uh, critical listening is something that we hope that our audience members engage in. As a speaker, I wanted to uh, discuss with you why do you think it's important to understand uh, the process of listening and maybe why some people have some difficulties in listening. Well, we know if people have difficulty paying attention that we can employ some techniques that we're going to learn in this course. Maybe attention getting uh, techniques such as icebreakers or listener relevance techniques so that the audience uh, uh, thinks that we're, we're relating to them, not thinks, but we are relating to them. After all, if uh, it involves us, we have a tendency to pay attention a little bit more. Um, we might want to employ different types of evidence that appeal to all different types of learners. Uh, people who learn visually versus people who learn by example or facts and statistics. Um, our goal, after all, is to have the audience pay attention to us. We want to be audience-centered and goal-oriented. And hopefully, at the end of our speech, we will have fallen into that 25% of the people who actually retain what we're going to say. So today, we've talked about some aspects of, uh, of listening. Um, we've discussed a little bit of, of why listening is important, uh, listening efficiency, uh, some of the differences between hearing and listening, the types of listening, and why listening is important to us as a speaker. So hopefully, uh, after today's mini lecture, you've fallen into one of my 25%.